Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator Guide. So today what we're going to be looking at is relative coordinates and running procedures from a specific location using um, a, a block that we can actually call a procedure from. But um, one of the things that I, I'm not sure if many people know or not is you can actually offset the coordinates and it's a relative to where you set it off when you call the procedure. So I thought I would just cover it and kind of give you a demonstration on how it works and, um, you know, just basically how to use it and stuff like that. Because it, it does come in handy um, quite frequently when you need to actually run a specific procedure that might be the same that needs to be um, located somewhere else. So rather than make a whole bunch of different extra procedures, you can actually just run one procedure at the relative coordinates and then offset the coordinates for where the procedures run instead so you don't have to like make it uh, make an entire new procedure to do a whole bunch of other things so uh yeah i have it set up so if we break a uh, block it will uh, print out some messages of uh, the coordinates where the block is broken now uh, we should be facing that's north over there so basically north is negative x so if we walk this way you can see the coordinates are going down so what's going to happen is when i break the block right here uh, this block is 174 on the z scale uh, it's going to turn to basically 74 so um, it will run the procedure the relative coordinates is the 74 position uh, position which will be where it is running the uh, second procedure from when we're calling the procedure now it will also print out the current coordinates where we break the block Whoop, I just took a screenshot <laughs> all right so let's break it and as you can see we'll just wait for that to go away I want T all right, so as you can see right here, it says this position, and then it got our coordinates where it currently was. So these were our X and Y position, which hasn't changed uh, because I haven't offset it, the procedure that um, location. But you will notice that the 174 position is now just 74. Now that's because it subtracted basically and ran um, 100 blocks away from where this position was and it's just basically printing out the message when we're sending it to the player so when we break it it's going to basically go that way 100 blocks it's going to go hey this is the coordinates for that and then it's going to basically print out that so you're probably wondering how that works and it, great question so let's take a look at the relative procedure first and basically I'm just running it as a regular procedure it doesn't need to be run with a specific dependency or anything like that. We're just using the X, Y, and Z uh, position for the to print out. And then I've done some styling codes and stuff like that for saying the relative position of the X, Y, and Z. So this is just printing out the message to the player at the X, Y, and Z coordinates, which is the exact block that is running from. Now, if we wanted to offset that particular coordinate, what we would do is we would use a math operator and then we would basically change something like five or whatever and this would basically offset it from where this procedure is running from now we don't want to do that because we just want to run it from the current location for this particular tutorial but it could come in handy if you wanted to test for certain blocks around a certain procedure area that is being run from uh, for example if you wanted to test if there's a hundred blocks or something away from um, the player when the block is broken and there is glowstone or something like that then you could actually use these methods to test for an area around uh, the blocks that are being broken so in our case we are just basically testing for the coordinates and we're just outputting the coordinates in the message itself so the other procedure I'm just going to delete that uh, the other procedure is when the block is broken now this procedure block is again the message block it's just saying this position and it's getting the position where this particular procedure is running from so this one is running from where the block is broken 
This one is being offsetted. Uh, the relative, this basically calls the procedure. It offsets it. Uh, the north direction from where the block is broken, 100 blocks. So whatever is located 100 blocks from north of where the block is broken is where the coordinates is going to be located. Or should I say the procedure being run. So under the advanced tab, you can actually call procedures. There are two different types of things that you can call with. Uh, there is the regular one. This one doesn't have any uh, specific use really. Well, it's the same thing as the one with coordinates. The only difference is it doesn't use coordinates. So it can be helpful when you, you're not, when you can't use the coordinate based dependencies. But um, in most cases, um, you probably would use this unless you wanted to offset it because it's really straightforward. But uh, in our case, what we want to do when we offset a coordinate is we want to use the call um, procedure with the X, Y, and Z. And then the X, Y, and Z location right here is basically where this procedure is going to run from. So in our case, what we're doing is we've basically offsetted the coordinates. So it's 100 blocks north from the block being broken. Uh, you can basically just replace it with however you want to make the coordinates run wherever you need it. So that's pretty um, straightforward. I just wanted to do a quick tutorial on that because it's a pretty handy little trick and I'm not sure if anyone was aware um, of this little technique or not. Uh, if you were, well, sorry, it's a straightforward video today, but um, hopefully it's helped a little bit of people with the learning a couple of the procedure blocks and stuff like that. Now, uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.